the stunt to collect here with another action figure review and here are the marvel legends uncanny uh, gambit figure here um so here's the front uh, part of the box here you get the uncanny x-men logo and you get a picture of gambit right there you get this little uh comic effect there uh battle staff uh, and then you get that lo gambit uh logo there you get the figure there here's enough on the top side or the other side here's the back and if you guys want to pause and read that you can and you get a picture of gambit right here you get that logo on the top again and then you get that little pi another picture of gambit there and then here's the ucpi but besides that let's crack them open and here he is on the packaging here so let's first off start with the accessories so first he gets this battle staff here i think we've seen this before with the moon knight figure it's just uh gray gunmetal gray so it's pretty cool uh i'm pretty sure we've seen it before um and then you get uh this card here with the little flame effects that you get with gambit like the pink translucent plastic here is pretty cool you get the spades there you get more of that detail in the back there so that's really cool and that one you just have them hold it and then you get this extra hand here where it's supposed to look like he's holding it between his fingers just like that so that's how you would have it and then you get this other hand here um, where he's throwing the cards with that same translucent plastic attached to his three fingers here. Um, and then you get the hearts, clubs, and diamonds getting shot out here. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah. Um, and it kind of reminds me of the wall crawling hands, so I'm pretty sure that's the same mold. Um, and then we got Gambit here. So... This is a new Gambit. I don't have the other one from whichever wave it was. I think it was the um, Juggernaut one. I'm not quite sure. Um, but the only difference that I see with it is this one's more, his hair is more laid out. Whereas the other one, they had sculpt, his hair was sticking up like he had a bunch of gel in it. Um, but yeah, you get the same mask that you've gotten before. You get a little bit of bleeding, blue bleeding into his ear and a little bit of uh, blue there and then um you get the red eyes so that's good you get that smirk kind of so that's cool i like the hair for this uh sculpt a lot though and then for a suit you get that like pinkish purplish shiny look there and then you get that light blue with some lines through it and then the dark blue for his mask here and you get a lighter blue along the edges between the pink and the light blue there. And then that same blue is for like the little belt area, waist. So that's cool. And you get the same purple for the mask, for the pants here. You can get some of that pink for the sides here for rectangles. And you get a gray uh, for uh, knee pads and then the rest of feet here. I like the... Um, the sculpt for the legs a lot though that's pretty cool and i like the uh color that they use for the uh legs here for the boots so that's cool and you get these his jacket here we've seen this jacket mold before it came with uh let's see here i know it came with spider noir um and then i think it was one other that i'm forgetting but uh yeah it's just different color uh it's brown light brown to give it a nice leather jacket look and then yeah i think we've seen this leather i mean, I mean this jacket mold for the sleeves here and then you get the uh holding hand here and you get like the two fingers there kind of looks like it the blue kind of bled into the pinky a little bit <clears throat> and then here's the other one so um, yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So his head can move down that far, up that far. He can look left and right. He has a little head pivoting there. His shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel here. And then double jointed, oh wait, no, single jointed elbows. That's weird. That's new. I thought it would be double jointed, but that's new. 
it gets past 90 degrees, so that's good. Um, his wrist here can go down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. And then he, he has an ab crunch, so he can go forward that much. Backwards now a whole bunch because of the jacket. He has a waist swivel, so he can do 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out that far. Forward, that far, backwards, a decent amount. Uh, he does have a thigh cut, double jointed knees. Let's see how far they go. There we go. Almost to a butt kick. Uh, he has a, a shin cut here. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So I think it's a pretty cool figure. Um, I like the details and stuff for it. Um, I can't. I don't really have any concerns or anything like that. Besides, like the little blue bleeding into his ear and all that other stuff, like the little pain miss ups. But if you have those, those should be pretty easy to fix up, so it's not a big deal. Um, but the articulation is really good on this. The uh, the mold, the body mold, the head sculpt is really good. So um, really cool figure. I like the. If, uh, like the accessories that they gave us with the cards. So I don't really have any complaints. So a uh, really cool, really good figure. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.